Design Week in Milan sees the Lombard capital open its doors to the world. From side alleys to age-old palazzos, citywide, an event unlike any other unfolds, Fuori Salone. More than a sideshow to the furniture fair, Fuori Salone is a full-blown celebration of creativity, where up-and-coming designers and independent studios step out of the shadow cast by established brands to exhibit products to a public eager to see the new. It's where design's brightest talents talk business and brainstorm. Fuori Salone is really kind of looking at the B side of design, looking at um, evolutions in the way we live, different ways of using the home, different ways of inhabiting the city. In the 18th century frescoed Palazzo Clerici, sleek ceramic panels made with sapien stone, which has sensors to heat and cool a table surface, invited visitors to touch. Eye candy awaited at Spazio Rosana Orlandi, where objects in plastic to eggshell thin porcelain stood out. At Palazzo Litta, consumer electronics brand Punkt, known for its no frills mobile phone, presented projects from students at Lausanne's Ecal, who applied the Swiss brand's no nonsense design philosophy to create simple to use tech for the office and home. Punkt is about rebalancing your relationship with technology, taking back control of all of these devices that sit around you. It's very important for us to work with universities, this possibility to engage and understand younger people's interpretation of uh, technology. Space and battery life, that's what these younger generation focus on when they design consumer electronics. Ekal students further fanned the creative sparks with the school's thought-provoking When Objects Dream presentation that turned the tables on people's relationship with everyday items. Emerging talent from Norway grabbed attention with clocks from design collective Oslo Form and porcelain lamps from Bergen's Stine Oas. In the Brera district gallery Spazio Pontaccio showed a contemporary credenza by Patricia Urchiola in traditional stained glass. In Cinque Vie, London studio Raw Edges played with pine wood to create colorful patterns. I think the future of design is uh, moving much more towards a, a return of interest in materiality and rediscovering the process, kind of returning to the craftsman model that gives also a, a specificity of place. Bottega Nove signaled this shift with traditional mosaics for the home by Cristina Celestino. Events exploring materials also attracted interest. Phoenix's smooth nanotech surface finds a niche in kitchens for Balfi. Crystal Plant, a composite that retains heat, appears in basins and baths for agape. Yet over and over, attention at Fuori Salone turned to Italy's artisans. Newcomer Fatto Bene showcased timeless classics of daily life. Eterno Italiano, which teams with a network of workshops of specialized craftsmen, look to rethink how design is manufactured. Eterno Italiano is a bridge connecting uh, uh, Italian craftsmanship with uh, contemporary design. Our aim is work with artisans and challenge them with new design. They are not uh, considered as uh, suppliers, but as companions. Emphasis on local manufacturing and time-honored techniques shows that design's future is not tied solely to technology. At Fori Salone, the message was, sometimes, in order to look forward, you have to look back. In Milan, for Monocle, I'm Ivan Cavallo.